If you're a horror fan like myself, you may have seen the 2003 movie Open Water. Open Water was about a young couple on a scuba trip who were left behind by their tour boat. The movie follows the horrors the couple endure as they float helplessly in the ocean, waiting for anyone to chance by them and take them back to shore. In accordance with horror standards, the couple is never found and is left to perish at the hands of exposure, drowning, or sharks. What many of us don't know, however, is that Open Water was based on the true story of Tom and Eileen Lonergan. This is their story. As always, this video contains graphic content that may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Thomas Lonergan and Eileen Haynes were both graduates of Louisiana State University where they had met. Eileen was already a scuba diving enthusiast and got Tom to take up the hobby fairly quickly. The couple was described by friends as young, idealistic, and in love with each other. They married on June 24, 1988. On January 25, 1998, after completing a two-year tour of duty with the Peace Corps, the couple were scuba diving with a group at St. Crispin's Reef, in Australia's Great Barrier Reef. St. Crispin's Reef is an elongate outer shelf coral reef, named for the French patron saint of cobblers and tanners. It's located a mere 35 miles off the Queenland coast in the Coral Sea, and is a popular diving and snorkeling spot in the area. While out scuba diving, the boat that had transported the group from shore left the reef before the Lonergans had returned from the water. None of the crew or passengers noticed that the two had not come back on board. It was not until two days later, January 27, 1998, that it was discovered that Tom and Eileen were missing. Joffrey Narn, the skipper of the boat from the diving company Outer Edge, found a bag containing the couple's belongings and realized that the couple had never returned to shore. Narn alerted authorities and a massive air and sea search began, spanning the course of three days. The couple was never found, but there have been some clues found regarding their disappearance. A month later, in February 1998, a woman's wetsuit, matching Eileen's size, washed ashore in North Queensland. After an examination of the barnacle growth on the suit, it was determined that the suit had been likely submerged in water since January, when the couple had gone missing. The suit sported tears along the buttocks and armpit area, presumably from coming into contact with coral. This would be the only lead on the missing couple for nearly six months. In June of 1998, more of the diving gear from the couple washed up on a beach in Port Douglas, nearly 75 miles from where the couple were originally lost at sea. The diving gear that was found included inflatable dive jackets marked with Tom and Eileen's names, their compressed air tanks, and one of Eileen's fins. Authorities also recovered a diver's slate, used to communicate with other divers underwater. The diver's slate had an ominous message written on it. Monday, January 26, 1998, 8 a.m. To anyone who can help us, we've been abandoned on Agincourt Reef by MC Outer Edge, 25th of January, 1998, 3 p.m. Please, help to rescue us before we die. Help. The couple were never seen again, and are presumed to have perished at sea. During the inquest of the deaths, experts speculated, based on the state of the gear recovered, that the couple had most likely not been involved in an animal attack like a shark, but instead came to be dehydrated while floating at sea, and eventually succumbed to delirium, which caused them to remove their diving gear voluntarily, much in the way that a victim of severe hypothermia will remove their clothing due to feeling hot. Without the buoyancy provided by their gear, experts testified that the couple would likely not have been able to tread water for long, and would have drowned soon after removing their gear. The coroner formally charged the skipper of the dive boat, Joffrey Narn, with the unlawful killing of the couple, but he was later found not guilty. The company Narn worked for, Outer Edge Dive, 
was fined after pleading guilty and the company went out of business. Due to the disappearance of the Lonergans, Queensland's government introduced stiffer regulations, including a requirement that captains and dive masters independently confirm each headcount. While these new regulations were much needed and provided more safety for divers, it was all too little too late for the Lonergans. Of course, as always, there are several other theories as to what may have happened to the Lonergans as they floated helplessly at sea. At the time of their disappearance, it was suggested that the Lonergans had staged their disappearance. Though this claim is entirely unsubstantiated, and there is no evidence that this is true. After their disappearance, the couple's bank account were never touched and their insurance policies were not claimed. Yet another theory was that the Lonergans committed suicide, or possibly murder-suicide. This theory was given credibility due to entries found in each of the couple's diaries. Excerpts from Tom's diary, in particular, were used to paint the story of a deeply disturbed man. Someone who was looking for, quote, a quick and peaceful death. Eileen's diary substantiated the claims of Tom being disturbed, with many of her diary entries showing concern for her well-being due to Tom's, quote, death wish. Eileen states in her diary that she had chosen to stay with Tom no matter the outcome. According to Eileen's family, however, the diary entries were taken completely out of context. The family, the coroner, and the police all claimed that only the pages that could validate the suicide theory were leaked to the press, where the rest of the diary was only read by the above-mentioned parties. Eileen's own father speculated that the couple became dehydrated and disoriented, and in the end succumbed to drowning or shark attacks. This theory was obviously the most in line with what was found by the coroner. It has been over 20 years since the disappearance of Tom and Eileen Lonergan, and no matter what happened to them in that ocean, it's rightly terrifying to think about. Imagine the fear and confusion you would feel upon returning to the surface from a dive just to find that your boat has stranded you in the ocean. It is entirely unknown how long the couple survived after the boat had left them. It could have been hours or even days of slowly succumbing to exposure from the hot Australian sun, dehydration from not having fresh water, and finally delirium. The couple have been mentioned or referenced in a few pop culture moments as well as documentaries. As stated before, the 2003 movie Open Water claims to be based on the Lonergan's disappearance, but in the film the names are changed. The story, however, does bear a strong resemblance to their actual disappearance. The couple was also featured in the documentary Crime Stories Deep Secret as well as a podcast called Case File True Crime Podcast. They were also referenced in the video game Stranded Deep, where a diver's slate containing the Lonergan's exact message is found during a search and rescue mission. Thank you for joining me here today for another episode of A Brief History. Thank you to my patrons who are lucky enough to get a sneak peek of this story this week. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Sims True Crime Stories. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time.